All right. Um, hello, comic book fans. Uh, Sunday, thought I'd get a haul video while I can, where everybody's at the house. And uh, this is going to be real quick. Oh, look what I got. Mjolnir, the Hammer of Thor. Got this in the mail today, Amazon Prime. It's actually a pretty good, uh, I guess if you want to call it a replica or a toy or whatever, it's pretty good. So, yep, got that in the mail today. And, all right, we're going to start off with uh, some hauls. A few hauls, I'm going to bunch them all together. This first one, Suicide Squad number 11. Um, what's that? Yep, it's at 250 paid for it. Happy about that. And this character is going to be in Suicide Squad. In Suicide Squad, a movie... Uh, I don't know who the character is. That's real bad. Uh, mm. I posted and put in the comments. All right, so got that out the way. Got uh, Legends number two. Um, I have three and one, so I thought I might as well do two. And my phone. It's not gonna pay attention to that. Uh, so this is pretty good. Pretty good haul. So that's phone ringing on the laptop. That's a pretty good haul. Got this for real cheap. Uh, let's see. And also got Legends number four and Legends number five. So I think I paid like between two, no, between what was that? Two, four, and five. I think I paid like made like under eight dollars so yeah excited about that and let's see what else do I have oh stars and stripes number zero first appearance of uh, Courtney who is Stargirl and uh, this is real cool real cheap very very cheap to get this paid like maybe two dollars for it and what else this is another one, uh, Wonder Woman 179. I think this is the first appearance of Angle Man. Uh, not a big major character, but still nice to get those keys in those first appearances. So, yep, good on that. And what else do we got? Oh, yeah, I got another Suicide Squad number 11. Uh, with two copies, so I said I might as well get them. Character is hot right now. Who's going to be in Suicide Squad? And what else? I got Wonder Woman number 92. Great cover. Always liked it. And so I might as well pick it up. Uh, I got this online as well. And let's see what else we got here. Got a lot of stuff that I forgot about. Let's see. You got Dr. Who was that? Okay, that's nobody. All right. Got Doctor Strange number 48. I believe this tells the origin of Brother Voodoo, or it's the first meeting between Brother Voodoo and Doctor Strange. So, definitely a nice issue, cool issue. And I got a Green Arrow number two. This is when um, Kevin Smith was writing and Phil Hester and Andy Parks did the art and the inking so good issue I think this is Mia's Mia's who later became Speedy this is her first appearance I think so I have to check that out later and what else we got Green Arrow 45 this is when Mia becomes Speedy Speedy number two so happy to have that and add that to the collection and what else we got here? Got Wonder Woman 105. This is I don't know. What is this? I think this is one of the appearances or the first appearance of uh Cassie who will later become Wonder Girl. Yep, I think that's it. So Wonder Woman 105. Again, online purchase, very cheap. Uh let's see what else we got. We got more 
Wonder Woman. Yeah, we got a lot of Wonder Woman. Let me just do that first. Uh, Wonder Woman 96 with the Joker. Cool cover. It's that Brian Bowling. Yeah, that's Bowling. Real cool cover. I have this, but I wanted to have it separately again just for my own personal reasons. So, as I am a collector, so it's good to have it. All right, got Green Arrow Zero. This is first appearance of Connor. Connor Hall. Uh, he is um, Green Arrow's son, and Green Arrow being um, Ollie Queen, Oliver Queen. So this is Connor's first appearance in the comic. But his first appearance as a baby. I think is in an earlier issue of Green Arrow. More Wonder Woman. Uh, Wonder Woman 113. Uh, Cassie kind of as Wonder Girl. And got number 73, Wonder Woman. It's a great cover. She's uh, slinging food, fast food. And I thought it was one of those cool Brian Bowling covers. So I definitely like that. And what else? We got uh, the Adventures of Superman 500, which is Steel and um, Superboy's first appearance, I believe. Connor Kent. And if it's not, then I know this one is. This uh, one right here. I believe 500 is first appearance. And 501 is like his cover appearance, I believe. So, so these are real cheap. You can see the prices and what I paid. So, nice finds to get those. Uh, we got, let's see. I found this one Avengers 315, which is the issue Avengers 316, right before this, after this, is the first. It's not the first one. This is not when Spider-Man joins the Avengers. This is the issue before he joins the Avengers. So, got 315. So I was real cheap. So might as well get it. And that would be cool to have at the collection. This next one. Um, a What If. Number 10. What If Jane Foster had found the Hammer of Thor. This is a real clean copy. Very, very clean issue. Definitely glad to get that. Yep. I think I paid like $10 for this. Man, that's great. So, what else I got? Oh, okay. Uh, X-Men 244, first appearance of Jubilee. Been meaning to get this. Paid like, I think, $15 for it. Online purchase again. Uh, it's not bad. I mean, it's a little, little marks here along the spine but it's not it's not killer the pages are nice so it's, it's pretty cool uh and let's see what else these last three issues i'm not sure if i showed this no i showed the other issue this is tales of suspense number 75 first appearance of peggy carter and um uh, this is also first appearance of Batrock, the Leaper. And both those characters were in the Captain America movie, so that's real cool to have this. Paid $25 for this, no lie. It's not not really in bad shape. And it's, uh, it was graded as a fine, so happy to get that. Add that to collection. That completes my Peggy Carter significant issues. Uh, so, yep. Uh, that's great. Uh, this next one, uh, Werewolf by Night, number 32. First appearance of, as it says right there, I think I take that sticker off and change his bag and board. First appearance of Moon Knight, happy to have that to the collection. Uh, I pay $65 for this, and this is a real nice issue. Real nice issue. Very, very clean. 
So, I mean, it's not too bad. I mean, I, I've seen this go for higher on eBay, so I'm happy to get it added to collection. And this final one, been wanting to own this, have this in my hands for a very, very long time. This is Amazing Spider-Man number 37. First appearance of Norman Osborn. So, definitely happy to add this collection. Actually, I'm going to take this out because of... I was shocked. Really, I was shocked at how much I paid for it and how clean this mug is. So, look, that's the back cover. And this is the front cover. Being very, very careful with this. And look at all that. And, I mean, it's not perfect. You see, like that here in the corner. But. For what I pay for this, man, this is a truly undervalued book. Look at that. Edited and written by Stan Lee. Plotted and drawn by Steve Ditko. Lettered and cherished by Artie Simek. I'm sure I'm butchering that. But look at that. It's a little... Oh, that was a shadow on my hand. I thought it was discoloration. Look at, look at all those... Ooh, this page is nice. Man, I gotta get another camera to show how great this is. Ooh. Let's see. I go to the page where Osborne shows up for the first time. Where is he at? I know he has that red here. Oh, there he is. See him, Norman, over there? My thumb is blocking. Blocking. Yeah, there he is over there. Okay, man, this is a clean issue. Uh, man, I asked the guy behind the counter, "Was this a reprint?" He said, "No, this is the original issue." Yeah, it looks, it's the original issue. Man, it's so nice to have that to the collection. Uh. Yeah, more stuff's probably coming later in the months, and I'm just happy to get this whole video out there. And I always leave comments. Feel free to subscribe. And um, Avengers comes out. I got an early ticket, so I'm seeing on April 30th, so I'm excited about that. And uh, yeah, have a great week. And leave comments, questions, whatever. I'll answer. I'll subscribe to you, subscribe to me, and let's uh, share the love of comic books out there. So, thank you.